What's up guys, Garage Max out here. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video on setting up a Windows desktop to start mining Ethereum. Uh, many, many of you may have noticed that the graphics cards prices have gone through the roof and so setting up a big farm may not be feasible for a lot of people or maybe you're looking at some pre-built systems uh, to mine that way. Uh, I'm gonna show you an easy way to get a miner set up in under 10 minutes. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, and even if you haven't set up a miner before, uh, this, this is gonna be really easy to follow. So uh, I've got a new HP Omen desktop that I'm gonna be setting up uh, and you can go ahead and follow along. I hope it helps somebody. All right, so you may have noticed that I'm hooking up to an iMac as a monitor. Uh, it's just a kind of kind of a trick to use one of these iMacs as a monitor because I don't want to buy a new monitor for every one of the miners. Uh, and it's super easy. You just plug it into the USB, go to QuickTime, uh, and then I've got a screen here that when I turn on the computer, see the computer's turning on, it's gonna output here. And this is where I'll be doing the walkthrough. I'll do a separate video that explains that in a little bit more depth if that's not clear. Okay, so brand new computer starting up. We're gonna just run through the Windows setup so that you guys can see it's a new computer, no previous configuration uh, done in advance. Okay, so once you have uh, your computer kind of here, and if, you, if you're using an existing gaming computer, obviously you're not gonna have to do any of this setup. Uh, I'll go ahead and full screen this. Um, if you're using an existing gaming computer, uh, you, you won't need to go through those steps. But once you're here, uh, you're gonna set up a few things first. And the first thing that I like to do is change sleep settings. You can go in here, you can adjust both of these uh, to, to whatever you want or you can kind of take the quick and easy way and just adjust it to high performance and it's gonna do the same thing. Similarly, you're gonna to wanna to go to Windows Update. And if you have, uh, if, if your computer has been in use, uh, you'll be able to set up the uh, pause button here. You can pause for up to 30 days, I believe. Uh, and that will make it so that the computer doesn't restart while you're mining just randomly so you don't lose any hash time. Obviously this is a new computer so it's got all these uh, different updates that I'm gonna have to just do a quick reboot on, uh, but you get the idea. Disable uh, Windows Update or pause it uh, so that you don't have to uh, worry about restarting it at any time. The last thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to uh, my applications and I'm gonna remove any unnecessary programs. Uh, one of the ones, if you're setting up with a brand new computer, uh, you're gonna to wanna to change your antivirus program. Uh, I, I uninstall it and then I use Windows Defender, uh, but you can do any number of things. However, the McAfee software from the box uh, will not allow mining clients uh, to unzip when you first download them. Uh, so you, so you wanna make sure that you take care of that beforehand. So once you've gone through and you've kinda of uninstalled any unneeded software, I'll go ahead and pick out a couple other ones here. Uh, Express VPN, we're not going to need that. Dropbox promotion, we're not going to need that. All right, so you're going to go through, you're going to clean out anything that, that you don't need. Then we're going to be ready to actually get your mining software. Okay, so once you've uninstalled uh, all of the programs that you're not going to need, you're going to need to download two things. Uh, I've already downloaded them, so I'm going to just uh, put them from my USB uh, drive, but I will go ahead and put the links in here. It's MSI Afterburner and Phoenix Miner. Now, the miner itself is the only thing that you need to actually start mining. However, if you want to tweak the card, if you want to do any adjustments to either the power or the speed, then you're going to need the MSI Afterburner as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the mining uh, client here and you're going to see a bunch of different batch files. Now these batch files, essentially what, this is, what these are, you can view them as like shortcuts to opening an algorithm that will then mine for you. And the one that we're going to use is the Nanopool Ethereum uh, batch file. We're going to right click it and we're going to hit edit 
and you're gonna have a few things that you can do inside your batch file here. The first of which, of course, is adding your own wallet. So after dash wallet, you go ahead and you update with whatever wallet ID you want your Ethereum to come to once it is mined. Now, uh, you can use like a Coinbase address. A lot of people advise against doing that. I actually do use a Coinbase address um, for, for a lot of things, if I'm gonna, especially if I'm gonna change it from one type of cryptocurrency to another. Uh, but whatever Ethereum specific address you want the uh, crypto going to, you're gonna put it in there. And then there's two other things that you're gonna change in here. The first of which is gonna be your worker ID. This is just a name that's used to designate the machine. I'm gonna go ahead and name this Omen 7. If you notice when I was setting up Windows, that's what I called it. So I'm gonna go ahead and denote that. And then you'll also have an email address here, uh, which uh, you know is, is essentially, if you're using Nanopool, a way for Nanopool to email you when your miner goes down, if it goes down. So you're gonna set those things and you're gonna control S, save it, close it. And uh, now what you've got in here is uh, your batch file for Ethereum going to Nanopool uh, that is already set up for you to start mining. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click this and I'm gonna create a shortcut, right? I, I don't ever wanna get confused with any of these batch files that I haven't set up yet. And subsequently, I'm gonna just pull this shortcut out here and that's gonna be the way that I can start mining. Now, I'm gonna do one other thing here. I could just double click this and essentially this is gonna start everything up and it's gonna start mining. And technically, you're mining right now. You don't, you don't have to do anything else if you don't want to, but I'm gonna do a couple uh, easy kind of like quality of life type uh, minor adjustments that are uh, super small, but, but super impactful. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I am gonna go down here to the start menu and I'm gonna type run, and then I'm gonna put percent app data percent. This opens up my app data uh, folder. I'm gonna go to Microsoft, I'm gonna go to Windows, Start Menu, Programs, and then Startup. And I'm gonna get this blank folder. Oh, okay, Max, why did you take me to this blank folder? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this shortcut into this folder. Now, what's gonna happen, every time I start this computer, it's gonna go into this startup folder and it's gonna run this batch file, which means if there's an unexpected restart or anything like that, it will go ahead and start mining automatically uh, and I will lose very little time uh, in terms of mining. So I've gone through, now this miner is set up to not shut down, it's set up to mine every time it turns on, but what about optimization? Well, I'm gonna go in here to this MSI Afterburner I'm gonna install this and I'm gonna give you just a kind of quick tutorial of using this. I'm sure if you're viewing this video, you've already viewed a hundred of them on YouTube, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, specs in here so that you can see what I do. I'm gonna go ahead and install this. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, just run it. All right, so we're gonna go into settings. I'm gonna start this with Windows. I'm gonna disable updates and I'm gonna apply. And then I'm gonna give just maybe a couple of safe numbers here. I'm gonna underclock the core. I'm gonna overclock the memory. This is an RTX 3090. Um, so these are, these are relatively safe uh, numbers. And I'm gonna drop the power a little bit, uh, save a little bit on the electric bill. And I'm gonna hit check, which applies it. I'm gonna save it as a profile. So hit the floppy disk and one. And then I'm gonna do one last step here. And I'm gonna hit this little Windows emblem. And essentially what that does is on startup now, MSI Afterburner is gonna start and it's gonna to go to these settings. So it's essentially gonna mirror what I wanna see when uh, I restart the computer. So let's go ahead and test and make sure that this thing is gonna do exactly what I want it to do. We're gonna go here, power and restart and let's see. Okay, so we see with no prompting, it has started up. It's gonna start mining, and let's see what kind of speed we're getting. Right around 122, which is great. That's, that's probably what you would expect from an RTX 3090. 
But one thing you didn't notice is, where is my MSI afterburner? Well, I know because I've been doing this for a while that 122 means my clock speeds were set. I wanna show you that that's the case. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna see, oh wow, okay, yes, it is running at the overclock speeds, so we're all set. And that's all you have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this back down a little bit, and we're gonna let this run just for a couple of minutes, and I'm gonna now show you where you can see that your miner is actually having some, some impact. We're gonna to go to Nano Pool, and you're gonna input your account address that you put in your batch file, where you're gonna be receiving the money. And it's okay for, for this to be relatively public uh, because it's, it's, uh, it's secure, right? This is the same address you would get, give someone if they're gonna send you uh, Ethereum. And essentially, you're gonna put f.nanopool.org slash account slash your wallet address. Now what we have is we have a list of the various workers that are mining, and it'll give you your last reported hash rate, which coincides with what you see over here on an individual miner basis. Now, as you can see from this one, Omen7 hasn't populated onto my dashboard yet in roughly 15 minutes, you're gonna see Omen7 pop up here on my worker list, and it should report right around this 116, 117 hash rate. Well, let's give it a couple of minutes and see uh, if that happens. All right, so just refresh, it's been about five minutes. The miner is going, and you'll see here Omen7 has popped up, uh, but it is saying last share unknown with no reported hash rate. That's normal for the first time uh, the system picks up some shares from the miner. The other thing though that you're gonna notice is my hash rate has dropped significantly. And the reason for that is heat. So if you're, uh, if you're using a very high powered card uh, and you notice the hash rate drops a lot lower uh, than what you may see numbers reported online on Reddit or Google or whatever, uh, you, you can point to the first culprit is likely going to be heat. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, go back into the system. I'm gonna say, hey, let's, let's check this thing out. Let's bump up my fan speed. And then what I'm also gonna do is on any of these desktops that you're mining, uh, I recommend taking the side panel off. And taking the side panel off, really easy way to get this thing much cooler. So we've just made those two slight tweaks we saw that the hash rate was under 60 mega hashes. And we'll let it sit here for a couple of minutes like this and see what it comes back up to. Okay, so uh, the temps have come down. The mining performance is right in the mid one teens here, which is pretty good. And you can see that the miner has started up on nano pool, uh, obviously reporting a lower hash rate uh, as an average of the two uh, previous speeds. Um, but holding pretty steady, pretty close to 120. So we're gonna be able to get it there with a little bit more tweaking. Uh, but that's it, now the miner's mining. So you can just leave this thing and, and let it run. You'll see uh, even with identical machines, your hash rate is gonna be uh, different based on the, the thermals of the card. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of videos on like different mining tricks uh, on like uh, how to set certain things up either for ease of use, ease of setup, ease of monitoring, uh, as well as tweaks, uh, which is going to include uh, taking some of these low hash rate cards and disassembling them, getting new thermal pads and thermal paste on them uh, to get them up to where Omen 3 is, uh, which should be right around 125 for these 3090s. So that's it. I hope this helps somebody. I'll put some links in the description. Please use them uh, and uh, drop me a comment if uh, you guys would like to see a different type of video. Thanks for watching.